Welcome back. Uh, we're shooting another one here because we are lucky to have uh, Adrian down with us today. And uh, we're going to start changing gears and work our way up to the upper body. We're going to take a break on the lower body and start to kind of systematically kind of move through this stuff. Um, your homework was talking a little bit about the shoulder. You had to memorize the, the muscles of the rotator cuff. And now we can kind of start to integrate some of the thinking, the anatomy into this. Um, one of the hallmarks of what we want to do and change your thinking is we want to keep breaking down movements that we value into its, their constituent parts. And so we get away from musculature. We understand the musculature is, a, of course, the, the vital uh, component. No, need to know the anatomy, but it's all about the movement. Movement is everything. So what we're going to work on today is uh, arm extension, which is that arm coming back away from my body. And uh, we see this kind of predominantly in, in the uh, ring dip, and I'll show you. Ring dipping is, uh, here's Adrian, ring dipping is predominantly ex shoulder extension, which is the, the arm coming behind him, and there's a little bit of internal rotation that happens in the shoulder. We'll get to that later. But what I want you to notice is that sh Adrian's shoulder is in a pretty neutral position. It's on the shelf. He's not way forward. And uh, his arm has to extend behind him. If he does not have that critical extension, then his shoulder ends up coming forward and rotating, and that's a weak position, and that's how you destroy your labrum. Believe it or not, your shoulder is actually a miraculous beefcake structure. If you work so hard that you tear something off the bone or destroy your labrum, it's taken years and years of work to do that, and high velocity, big load. So we're going to try to optimize that position. So we're going to keep shoulder back and working on that extension. So in an ideal position, that shoulder is pretty back in the sockets in a neutral range. We kind of have a kind of a safety zone, but that elbow is coming back. So that's what we're going to take apart today for the ring dip. And your test, retest, is to do a dip. So you're going to have to find a place to do a dip if you can. Retest or break this up. You can dip between two chairs. Uh, you can, you know, dip between two jump boxes. It doesn't matter. But I want you to test and retest and see the quality. Okay, so what's going to happen is you're going to come over. We, we happen to have parallel bars. And so uh, you can be on the parallel bars. There's kind of a couple positions. One is start with your hands behind the back. If you do not have parallel bars, you can absolutely grab any edge, a counter, a sink in your kitchen is fine. The tendency is to grab the, the bars and then go ahead and just internally rotate. That is not okay. We don't reinforce good, bad positioning while we're trying to mobilize something else. So Adrian externally rotates. And by the way, that's working on that active armpit that Mike Bergner likes so much. Notice that Adrian's rib cage is straight up and down. And he's not engaging a lot of rib cage tilt. Show me that. That's not an okay position either unless he's finishing in a gymnastics competition, right? So his rib cage is in and down, his shoulder is neutral, and with this wide grip, something comfortable, he's got his whole hand on there. If he doesn't do much hand, let your hand slip a little bit, it ends up hyperextending his elbow, and that's not very cool. So he reaches up and grabs, that blocks his elbow, protects him, rib cage down, and then from this position, which is comfortably mobilizing anything in this range, he's just going to start to drop down. And he feels, a, he feels a stretch wherever he feels a stretch. He can hang out two minutes here. We're going to introduce contract relax next week. I want you to know that if you end up feeling vulnerable, start doing a little bit of an active contraction. Can you just be a little active there, Adrian? Contract. And then you become a little bit more relaxed in that subsequent piece. Do a contract again one more time. See, he goes on. He's tightening up anything that is in that range, and then he relaxes. Now, what we'd like to do, come back up. Let's see if we can get his hands together. Can you get your hands together? As far as you can. What you'll find is most of you guys are going to try to go for it. Adrian made the correction on his wrist. He's really challenging his shoulders here. And then what's happened is he's still able to maintain a good position. He's going, and then this may be enough, but then if you can take it down, take it down. Oh, suffer, baby. Right? And there's look, this, he's making his stoic zen face. Right? There's... There's no pain face, right? And uh, you can't tell by what's going on. He's basically unhooking his short neck flexors from his pain in his shoulders, which is good because your face has nothing to do with what goes on in the rest of your body. So then he comes back up, maybe gets his hands, shake his hands out for one second. They start to go a little bit funny. He gets some blood back in there. Hey, Adrian, is it okay if something goes numb? Oh, totally. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Don't go numb, all right? That's not okay. Don't be that guy. But we're going to see if he can get his hands all the way together. 
Good. He has to really squeeze his shoulder blades tight to make that happen. Oh, hey, there's that thoracic mobilization, that tight rib cage piece that we're going to get to eventually working on. And then he can just lower himself down. He's still not tilting his rib cage, working on pure extension, hanging out. Right? Remember, new range is vulnerable range. When do you do this? Well, it's okay to do it anytime. Do it before you work out, do it after you work out, just do it. If you don't have parallel bars, you can always go to your friendly police barricade because I know you've got one of those in your house. Uh, this is not ours. It belongs to the Pursuit of Trust. They know we have it. We're not breaking any laws here. We have not stolen it from uh, some kind of Mardi Gras parade. But he's done the same thing. And you see it's a little bit lower. It gives him some more options. And then let's throw Adrian back on the ring dip position. And jump up there. And see how that feels? Good. Good. And go ahead and do a dip for us. Better, same, worse. Good. Check. Better. Have a great day.